Hey, welcome back. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Illustrator to prepare files for laser cutting. In this particular case, I'm going to show you how you can make a Christmas bauble similar to this one that I found off the internet uh, with a name and some images in the background. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is click File, New, and select an appropriate size. So I'm always, I always like to be in centimeters or millimeters um, rather than point because it makes it a bit trickier and choose RGB uh, color. That's really important for laser cutting. All right, and that's important for laser cutting because it needs to be RGB red for cut lines, black and blue for etching and engraving. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to pop in an image Hopefully, I'm going to pop in this image, image that I had before, copy and paste, and I'm going to put that on one of my layers. Okay, it's good to work with layers so that you can hide certain layers and then come back to it later. So down in the bottom right hand corner, I'll click plus, and I can create a new layer. That way I can hide layers, lock layers, etc. If you can't find the layers um, page, click on window, make sure you have a workspace Essentials, Essentials Classic open. And if that doesn't work out, go down to Layers down here and you can actually find Layers and click it down there. One, that's one thing that really does stump a lot of people, just knowing what windows you have open. All right, so we've got an image to go by and I'm just gonna make it small for today. And that's gonna be my template to work with. Then I'm gonna try and create a bauble shape. This one, this example doesn't have a hole at the top, but I will create it. I'm going to click on layer two. I'm going to lock, I'm going to pop it in the corner and then lock layer one. I'm going to work on this layer. I'm going to select circle, the circle tool, hopefully, or the ellipse tool. Hold down shift and that'll allow me to create a circle. Then I'm going to click on properties and make sure that I have a stroke. Well, I don't want to have a stroke, but I want to make sure I have um, RGB red. If you find it's not RGB, um, you can always just make sure by having 255 on red and zero on green and blue, okay? When it comes to laser cutting, I'll also have to make sure that this is 0 0.01 as well. All right, that's how the laser cutter will read it. So I've got my first circle. Uh, if I just wanted a background, that would be fine, but I actually wanna have both a background and a ring. So I'm gonna add another circle. So this time I'm just gonna copy and paste and make this slightly smaller again using the shift key so it keeps the proportions and it'll snap into be the center. All right, I've got two circles. Then I want a rectangle. That's gonna be just the top of the ball. Again, make sure there's no fill and just checking it's RGB red. Yep. And then use the selection tool if I wanna move it. Might make it slightly higher slightly lower, and again, you'll see what it looks like at the end. And then finally, I'm going to add, let's have a look what I did here, another circle. Hold the shift key. And this project's pretty good for just getting familiar with all the different shapes, the select tool, um, the appropriate uh, colors and line thicknesses for laser cutting, and it's also a bit of fun just in time for Christmas. All right, there we go. All right, so I've got everything that I'm after. I'm just gonna scroll down. I'm gonna make sure there's no fill for all of them. All of them have the same red in 0 0.01. And I'm gonna make sure they're aligned this way. Okay, just click on the align button. All right, now I wanna select all lines except for the circle. And we'll see what happens when I use Pathfinder. Okay, I've got a background going on there. I might actually change it to 0.1 or one, so you can see. And I'm actually gonna make a copy here because when I do use Pathfinder, I'll need to start again if I was to do that. So for my background, I'm gonna select all bar that little circle on the top and click Pathfinder. And I'm not really happy with it. So I wanna make this a little bit wider and maybe this circle a bit higher. And I'm gonna copy everything again and I'll delete this one over here. Let's try again, select everything except for that small circle. And that looks a bit better for me. If I was really pedantic, I just move this guy 
cut slightly and copy everything again because I want to work with the same design. Delete this guy and I will pathfind. Okay, I've got the outer shape of my Christmas bobble. That's everything that's going to be cut. This time I want to keep, I want to select everything except for the small circle and the inner circle. Click on Pathfinder. And this is what's going to give me that ring around my Christmas bobble. So if I, oh, I should group these at this point so that they stay together. Okay, oh, doesn't want to group. I didn't click it. Okay, so I've got a background and I've got a layer in front as well. Let's go back to my sample that I did earlier. Um, just to keep it simple, I'm just going to draw the line across the bottom. And again, I'm no real expert with uh, Illustrator, but I do use it for laser cutting. Um, and often I am problem solving as we go. So I'm just going to draw some hills like that. And that's just going to give me a space to be able to uh, work with. And now I want to get rid of this line. Okay, so we, we can try Pathfinder and you'll find it won't really work. It doesn't always find the path you want, even if you try a few different options. What we're going to do here is select all, drag your mouse over, and then press Shift M. Okay, that selects this tool over here, which is the Shape Builder. Now with the Shape Builder, we can draw around lines that we want to get rid of. And over here, and actually, in fact, we might use the Selection tool and just delete that anchor point. We might have to zoom in a bit more. Yeah. And then delete that anchor point. Okay, so we've got a base over here and we've got an upper layer as well. If I want to add some Christmas trees, I will have to either draw them, design them, but most, most likely with something like this, uh, somebody's found a vector file online um, and I've used a website called Free SVG. So if I go here and I've searched for Santa's sleigh and I could search for star, all those stars you can draw quite easily um, or you could make snowflakes. But what I've done is downloaded two SVGs and I'm going to go file, place, and SVGs are good because they're not pixels. They're a lot easier to work with. Um, they're solid. So once we expand and ungroup, first of all, we'll make it small enough. So select, hold shift, make it small. So I've got that image that I downloaded from for SVG. I'm going to add one more place and Santa's sleigh. Pop it in. Oh, it's quite big, so I'm going to zoom out. Hold shift and make him a lot smaller. If I don't hold shift, this is what happens. That's why I hold shift. Shift, you're going to need it to be quite small. And I'll get it smaller again. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. All right, this guy's a bit big still. Make him smaller so I can work with it. And I'm going to pop him somewhere like that on this layer. Actually, I think it's still too big. All right, now I've got this shape here. Let's see what happens if I say no fill and a red stroke. Already I can see that I have a star that I can work with. Oh, sorry, a tree that I can work with. If I change it to the right thickness, um, that should work as well. So I'll just go like that. And again, you could try lots of different trees you could add as well. You can make them bigger or smaller. I noticed with this one, this star has points that are quite close. If I do laser cut that, it might cut it off. So I'm just gonna go like that. And again, I need to connect this tree by selecting all, Shift M using that tool. And then just drawing a line between here. Hopefully I can get rid of these. Oh, Let's see if we can draw through here. And that'll work pretty well. If I wanted to get rid of uh, these points I can select and just delete them. Okay, uh, not the best. I might leave those, see what happens with that. All right, so I've got a tree. I've got um, my ring. I can obviously do multiple layers. Now the last step I'm gonna do is add something to engrave just like this um, we have in the sample. And I'm going to drag him smaller, pop him 
at the top. And there we have our final finished product. Now, when you send this to your laser software, make sure you have all your red lines as 0 0.01. And select all. And that should be it. Once you send that over, that should be pretty straightforward to cut. If you have any problems, feel free to ask a question in the comments. Good luck.